Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to show you how to box like a pro with this fitness boxing workout. Now we're not gonna get into all the technical stuff. We're not gonna learn how to possibly throw the correct hook, the right uppercut, anything like that. Today we're gonna to learn how to train this body for endurance, for explosion, for power, for speed, for all of it. That way you can get out there and have the body of a fitness guy while being able to fight like a business god. So let's get into the three moves that are gonna help you today to get in better shape and be ready to box and get in that ring. So like I said, it's only gonna be a few moves. The first move, it's gonna be a kettlebell swing. Now when people kettlebell swing, it's not a squat. You do not pass it through the bottom of your legs like that. It comes between the knees and the hips when you do it. And it is a very quick, explosive movement. You pull it through, keep a nice straight back, and you pop it up through squeeze the glutes through squeeze the glutes just like that i don't need to swing it all the way up that crossfit stuff we don't need that we're just working on exploding through the movement here's what you're going to do with that you're going to give me 75 total reps as many sets as you need as you can hear right now my heart is pumping i'm losing a little bit of air every time you have to take a break i want you to take the same kettlebell offset marches keep your core Nice and tight, nothing crazy. We're gonna do 20 seconds to one arm, swing it around, 20 seconds to the other arm. So now we got one move down, let me show you the other two. Okay, so move number two is all upper body and you're gonna look at these little pink weights and you're gonna be like, wow, how does that do anything for you? But let's train those arms. So we get in our stance, we throw one, 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 two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you run through that same pattern for one minute straight to each arm. So you do one arm, and then you get back in your stance, and you line up one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna burn the arms out. We're gonna build the shoulders, build the upper back, get ready to throw a ton of punches in a round. And then when that round is over, all I want you to do, put the weights down, hands behind the head, a little bit of an athletic stance, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Not super fast, nice and easy. This is active recovery. And you're gonna do this for one minute. So remember, one minute to the left arm with the weights, one minute to the right arm with the weights, and then one minute here. So now we got two setups we've done. Let me show you that third setup that when you combine all of these, will become a nice little workout to get you in boxing shape and make you look like a Greek god. Now for the final setup, you're gonna get a ball, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, whatever you want it to be, but you're gonna hold it up by the chest. You can even bear hug it if you want to. But all I need here is your feet shoulder width, toes slightly pointed out. Give me a squat, come back up. Give me a squat, come back up. Nice and simple squats, nothing too crazy here. What we're gonna do is, every minute we're going to alternate between the squats and some type of cardio. Now for me today, it's the bike. And you're gonna do this. You can use a jump rope, you can use a Stairmaster, you can use a treadmill, you can do jumping jacks, burpees, whatever you want. But here's how the setup goes. On every odd minute, you do the squats. On every even minute, you do the bike for a minute. This entire setup ends when you get to 100 full reps of the squat. So let's say you do 20 in the first minute, then you hop on the bike for here, then you do another 10, you hop on the bike in the even minute, then you do another 10, you hop on the bike for another minute. You just keep running as many rounds as it takes to get to 100 squats with cardio in between. If you take these three setups, you push them all together. You do it two, maybe three times a week with a day in between. You're gonna notice that you're burning fat. You're gonna notice that your endurance is going up and you're gonna watch your muscles lean out and you're gonna look perfect when you step in that ring.